Modern electric scooters come in different shapes and sizes. They can be as small as those ride-sharing scooters we see on the roads every day and as big as Light Horse. What is Light Horse, you may ask? It's a performance electric scooter with massive tires and four-wheel drive capabilities. The company has already announced prices and specifications for three modifications this scooter will be offered in, Little Joe, Maverick, and Scout. All modifications are equipped and fine-tuned to carry out specific tasks. For example, Little Joe is best suited for city riding, being used as a sports and recreation vehicle or as much faster alternative to a traditional golf cart. The top-of-the-line Scout model, however, is equipped with four-wheel drive system, thus enabling it to tackle the toughest road situations and off-road trails. All modifications are capable of reaching the top speed of 40 miles per hour and have battery packs suitable to sustain such performance for 60 miles of riding. Besides carrying a rider, the Light Horse has the 1,000-pound towing capability. If you're closely following our EV news roundups, you should be familiar with Vega Innovations, a Sri Lanka-based company that has a mean electric supercar in the works. To our delight, we've recently learned that the company is exploring other means of applying their knowledge in the field of EV technology and are currently developing an all-terrain vehicle. Called the Vega ATX, this innovative vehicle was specially developed to fulfill a variety of usage scenarios that include but not limited to recreational riding, racing, and performing job-related duties. The model is to be equipped with a dual-motor drivetrain, capable of putting out 28 kilowatts or 37.5 horsepower. When going off-road or taming the drivetrain's electrified power, every rider would greatly benefit from a switchable four-wheel drive. Power-assisted steering, hill start, and decent assist, as well as a 1,543-pound towing capacity. The power to the e-motor is to be supplied by an IP67 rated battery pack. Although the capacity of this battery pack has not been disclosed at the moment, the creators of this vehicle claim the 10-kilowatt fast-charging capabilities, 75-mile range estimations, as well as the support of regenerative braking. EV4 is a new research and development subdivision that was created on the basis of AeroService, a company from Poland that has years of experience in design, construction, and repair of ultralight aircraft. EV4 specializes in manufacturing of compact electric vehicles with superior off-road capabilities. The Boardzilla is the latest creation of the EV4 subdivision. This electric mountain board received a unique tilting system with robust steering knuckles that offer better maneuverability, reduce speed wobble, and increase traction compared to regular mountain boards. Instead of a regular foot deck, this electric board has two metal foot supports on each end and a massive battery storage box in the middle. There's also a pneumatic shock absorber sitting above the battery. The Boardzilla is supplied with two 3,500 watt electric motors offers up to 2 inches of suspension travel and 5 inches of ground clearance. With a fully charged 36-volt, 20-amp-hour battery unit, you can expect to ride for up to 25 miles at speeds reaching 28 miles per hour. For 2023, Polaris has prepared something special. They partnered up with Zero Motorcycles, a reputed EV manufacturer, in order to produce the next generation electric side-by-side, -side, and it's called Ranger XP Kinetic. This partnership yielded a powertrain capable of putting out 82 kilowatts of power and 140 pound-feet of torque. With such powertrain specifications, Ranger XP Kinetic managed to earn a title of the most capable side-by-side -side model in the manufacturer's lineup. Besides generating so much power, this UTV model is also good for carrying payloads of up to 1,250 pounds and has 2,500 pound towing capabilities. The travel distance offered by this off-road capable machine depends on the trim of your choosing. The premium trim is equipped with a 14.9 kilowatt hour battery pack, while the ultimate trim comes with 29.9 kilowatt hours of battery capacity.
So those who opted for the premium trim can go up to 45 miles without looking for a charging socket, while the ultimate trim can let you travel for 80 miles. The variety of charging options supported by Ranger XP Kinetic range from a humble 120 volt home charging setup to the powerful 9 kilowatt charging system. Depending on the chosen option, you'd have to wait between two and a half and five hours to get back on the road. Four years of engineering efforts by a company from Poland have resulted in the creation of Nuba One. It's a powerful electric bike that is destined to serve a dual purpose, provide an electric alternative to the fans of motocross bikes or be used as a regular bicycle with power restricted for city riding. The switch between city and off-road modes is said to be quick and effortless. Nuba One motorbike is offered in two power modifications. The higher spec model is equipped with an 18 kilowatt electric motor while the cheaper modification gets a 10 kilowatt unit. Both modifications come with a 56 amp hour battery, which can offer up to 130 miles of continuous riding. The top speed of these bikes is limited to 68 miles per hour. The company is currently looking for ways to fund production of this e-motorbike. If you believe in the future of this model, you can place a pre-order today and receive your two-wheeler in one of three available colors, blue, red, or black. Even though light electric vehicles are sometimes referred to as ultimate last mile travel solutions that may replace public transport in the future, it doesn't mean that people could just hop on and ride them without proper training. Modern electric bicycles, mopeds, and scooters are known to have a punchy acceleration and require some getting used to. The case for monowheels is even more complex. These require a lot of effort and determination to master, especially if you'd like to ride in motion V11. This personal mobility vehicle is equipped with a 2.2 kilowatt electric motor that is hidden inside a wheel with an 18 by 3 inch tire and will only stop accelerating at the 35 mile per hour mark. Besides making it fast, the creators of the V11 developed an innovative suspension system that has made the monowheel suitable for off-roading. The suspension system has 2.75 inches of air sprung travel. The riding power is supplied by an 84-volt battery with 1,500 watt-hours of capacity. This battery pack can last up to 75 miles of continuous riding and will need between 5 and 10 hours to be fully recharged. You may know the Utah-based Vanderhall Motorworks for its lineup of retro-looking three-wheeled roadsters and auto cycles. However, with Brawley, the company is trying itself in a completely new niche of electric off-roaders. The model measures just 147.5 inches long, has approach and departure angles of 90 degrees, and rides on 18-inch wheels that are wrapped in rugged 35-inch tires. Its ground clearance reaches 18 inches, while the suspension features internal bypass shocks and offers 22 inches of travel. The SUV comes powered by four electric motors, delivering a combined output of 297 kilowatts and 480 pound-feet of torque. Depending on your needs, the 300-volt battery can have 40 or 60 kilowatt-hour capacity. The larger pack is expected to offer 200 miles while also being able to recharge to 80% in under an hour. We would really like to hear your opinion about the lineup in the comments section. Don't forget to mention other exciting models that we may have missed. Rate the video with a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. More exciting EV content is on the screen. Just follow the links. See you soon.